Stewart with SimplySimpleStamping.com here today with another video in my series called Flashcards 2.0. Today's card is just a fun way to send a card and a little gift. You can see I've added just a little packet of uh, those little instant coffees that I absolutely love. Those of you that know me know I love my coffee. It just tucks inside the card. Just a great way to send a fun little, maybe a thank you to a coworker or a Christmas gift that you want to give something a little extra to a neighbor. I'm going to teach you how to do the Christmas card today. So let's go ahead and get started with today's flashcard. As always, I'm going to be using my flashcard 2.0 template. Now, if you're not familiar with how flashcard 2.0 works, you can just go to YouTube and search Connie Stewart Flashcards 2.0 and it should be the first video to pop up. The beauty of uh, Flashcard 2.0 is you keep these two little pieces of cardstock cut and ready at all times and when you need a card and a flash you grab those in a card base and I'm going to teach you hundreds, well maybe not hundreds, I'm going to teach you a lot of different ways to use those two pieces of cardstock and no card's ever going to look the same. Okay, well let's go ahead and get started with our card, shall we? I'm going to be using um, Cherry Cobbler as my flashcard base and Whisper White. <clears throat> my card base itself is in Gumball Green and I've cut that at eight and a half by five and a half, scored at four and a quarter. So it's a standard card um, base. Okay, we're going to start by stamping, so I'm going to begin with my white piece of cardstock. And I did pre-stamp for you, but let me tell you what I've done. I used the Sensational Seasons bundle from Stampin' Up, and I've stamped the uh, coffee cup in Early Espresso and the steam in Early Espresso as well. And then there's a little star in there that I just love. And I did two of those in Daffodil Delight, one Gumball Green and one Cherry Cobbler. Now this little guy right here, this actually came from the Perfect Punches stamp set and that's been stamped in Cherry Cobbler. Now we're going to go ahead and kind of chop this up and to do that I'm going to use some punches. So the first thing I'm going to do is come in with the 1 and 3 8 inch circle punch and I'm going to punch out the Joy at Christmas part. This is why you always punch first or stamp first and punch second so that we can Line those up just right. I've now got the one and three quarter inch scallop circle and I'm going to take that and line it up and we're going to give that a punch. Awesome. We've got those pieces ready. Now we're ready to run this through our big shot with uh, the framelits that come with that bundle because I don't know about you but if I'm going to buy the stamp set I'm going with the bundle because I don't like to fussy cut things. I like to use um, my big shot and I like to use my framelits. So I'm going to come in here with, oh, I always put that on upside down. I'm going to set my framelits um, in place. Now it also comes with this little star uh, or framelit so that we can cut out those stars. But you know what? I looked at it and I went, man, i got to run that through my big shop four more times just to get all those. Well, guess what I learned? Ha! I also purchased the Merry Minis Punch Pack. And you know what? It punches out those stars perfectly. So I didn't have to go and run all those through my big shot. I was all ready to go. I know. I'm brilliant. Okay, so I've got all those pieces ready. Now let's go ahead and come in with our flashcard, um, our bottom base. I'm going to be using another punch, and this is the one and a quarter inch scallop circle. You're going to push in that cardstock as far as it will go into your punch, and it is lined up, I mean, the, the cardstock is almost the exact same size as the punch, so that makes it real easy. Pushed in as far as it'll go. Whoops, shipped it on me. All right, so we're going to punch out that. You're going to flip it around and repeat that on the other side. Pushed in as far as it'll go and punch. Now, save these two little pieces because you know I'm going to do something with them, right? Okay, well, we've got this done. We're going to now take that and put that into the hound's tooth embossing folder because I think everything deserves a little texture. You're going to run that through your Big Shot and when you do it's going to look like this. So we've got our little pieces punched out. Now let's do a little more prep. You see I have some great little scallop uh, pieces here. But what to do because I don't have any white cardstock left. I cut all this out. Well, do you remember in my flashcard template video, I said, ooh, all those little strips of pieces of paper that you have left over, keep those. We're going to use them. Yep. We're going to use them right now. We're going to run these through the scallop border punch and you're just going to punch out. We only need about a quarter or four and a quarter inches. So we're just going to cut that 
and <clears throat> you're just going to take those, adhere that onto your card, and trim it down. So it's going to look like that. All right, let's put our card together. So when we go to adhere this onto our card, we do have to have room for this um, coffee to fit in. So when you're putting your adhesive, make sure you're not putting any adhesive near those scallops. So we are going to get a little adhesive happy here, guys. We do have to make sure we have enough because we really need this to stick. But you can see I'm kind of avoiding right here. Let's adhere this onto our card. This just goes all the way over and lining it up at the top and the bottom. Okay. Now we can go ahead and um, start adhering our other little pieces here. Oh, but you know what? Before I do that, let me show you how I did these little scallopy pieces here. Remember these little pieces that I had left over and I thought, ooh, what am I going to do with those? Well, I got the idea to cut it in half and then just to adhere it together like this. And then what I can do with those is put that at the bottom of my card right on the corner and right on the corner. Give that a good press and now I can just trim away. A little happy with the uh, snail on that one too, wasn't I? Okay, so now we can get that excess out of the way. And we have a nice little kind of a uh, trimmed out corner. Gives it just a little something, don't you think? I like it. I think it's nice. Okay, well now we can come in. I put some Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of um, my coffee cup. Yum. And then now for this little uh, Joy at Christmas, because we did cut that out a little bit different, I'm going to put some adhesive on my scallop. Center that up. I've got a Stampin' Dimensional on the back of my center. And like I said, it just kind of gives it a little something. I think Dimension really helps everything. And um, I'm now ready to go ahead and put my coffee in there. I tied a little piece of gumball green ribbon on it. Tuck that. Whoops. No, I did not adhere it together. <laughs> all right. Get that last one in there. Terrific. We're all set there. Fix my ribbon. Okay. Now all those little stars, now we can just have some fun. And I'm just going to add those stars wherever I feel like I need a little something filled in. And my last one, how about right there. And the last little thing, because you guys know me, I always tend to add a little bling to something. So I'm going to add a rhinestone to the center of my coffee cup. And I think I've got it. What do you think? Cards all complete. What do you think? I think it's just a great little card, great little gift. And hey, it was made in a flash. Now, if you'd like to make this card yourself, you can simply go to my website, simplysimplestamping.com. I'm going to have a list there of everything that I used to make today's card, and it's so easy. Click on the online ordering button, order the products that you need. It's going to come right to your door. You're going to be stamping in no time. Is that awesome or what? Be sure to order that bundle, though. You want those framelits because you don't want to cut that by hand. So... Thanks so much for tuning in today's Flashcard 2.0. Be sure to tune in again because I've got more videos waiting for you. We'll see you next time. Happy stamping. Bye-bye.